What's going on YouTube and everybody on YouTube? It's your boy King David I'm back again with another video And in today's video man, I want to show you guys how to change the image On the home screen of the main launcher that comes with the px6 Tesla style radios um, I'm not gonna lie It was a bit of a task to get this done unlike any other Android where you just hold the screen um, it pops up and you can select wallpaper, live wallpapers and things of that nature. But, um, due to the way that they have this launcher set up, it's a little bit more difficult to get, um, an image loaded onto the actual radio. I mean, it's not that difficult, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a few steps that you have to take in order to get this accomplished. Um start off i'm gonna start off by going to the actual it's called index that's the name of the launcher now as you can see i have a picture of a great durango which is my durango and then my logo right next to it now in order to accomplish this there's a few things that you have to do um you want to start off by you have to download an image and the image has to be 1168 by 733 I believe um, I'm gonna put that in the description if that isn't right and I'm also gonna play around um, with the sizing to see where I can go with it because I did have one in here a lot bigger than this I mean it was a lot bigger than this it covered you know it was way up here over the top of the time so I had to go back in and make it smaller to make it fit but now you can see it's down on the top of here but anyway the way that i got this image was um from an app called image downloader you can get it from the uh the google play store and um i downloaded the durango transparent durango i downloaded this here durango and then um i went inside of pixel lab selected this image and added my image to it in pixel lab another app that you can also get from um, Android. That's why I do a lot of editing and things of that nature on. It's, it's similar to uh, Photoshop, but it's on your uh, cell phone. So anyway, now what you're gonna have to do in order to accomplish this is first of all, let's go into um, not settings. Let's go into file manager now in file manager right here you can see that's the actual image that i have loaded um onto the launcher now i have it labeled zxw logo dot png it has to be named this in order for the unit to pick it up so the way you do that is um, let me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna delete it no I don't want to rename it I want to delete it so to delete it I'm gonna select one here hit delete confirm deletion it's gonna delete it let me remember the name it was ZX hold on zxw logo.png zxw logo.png all right so i'm gonna delete delete it nope make sure i have that selected and i'm gonna hit delete hit okay now i'm gonna go into settings user settings and I'm gonna save and reboot now what's gonna show up is the car image that was previously loaded on here which was a red Durango and that's what I wanted to get removed all right so um it's gonna boot up and the gray Durango that you guys seen is no longer going to be there. Now, 
because that file that I just deleted was the file that the unit is actually reading in order to uh for it to show in in that um on that launcher the index launcher which I'm gonna pick right now and you should see a red Durango all right now there's the red Durango that's the actual image that comes preloaded onto the unit now in order to change that you're gonna want to go to apps and I have a I have a USB drive now I downloaded uh, that image onto this USB drive after I went into pixel lab and edited it to the way that I wanted it to be and then I um I stuck this into my USB port down here all right so that's plugged in now you want to go into act apps once you see this pop up here indicating that that drive is uh, being read you want to go into apps you want to go into file manager and then on the ESD USB or you'll, you'll see something different from flash when you connect one of those USB drives so you're gonna collect connect this and then I have it down on this um as new PNG so you're gonna wanna click here click on these two papers here now that's copy you wanna go to flash now once you get into flash you're gonna see these here this is gonna paste that image that you just copied into flash so once you hit paste you see here where it says new PNG and it also shows the time that it loaded onto there now 659 p.m. here where I'm at all right so once you do that you want to long press on it and you want to rename this ZXW logo dot PNG so Z X W L O G O make sure the dots there I don't know why it deleted itself but ZXW logo dot PNG and you're gonna want to hit OK there it is ZXW logo dot PNG now, in order to get this to load, you're going to want to go to settings. And then you're going to go to want to you're going to want to go to user settings. Now, in here, you're going to you're going to want to hit save and reboot boot, but make sure you pull out that USB thumb drive first or it will not work. I repeat, it will not work. Make sure you pull out that thumb drive. So you pull this thumb drive out. Then you'll hit save and reboot and let the radio do its thing. And while we're waiting, I also installed front camera and a rear view camera. That's something that I wanted to put in the last video that I made, um, but I didn't have the time or I completely forgot about putting it in the video, but I'm gonna let you guys see it real quick. It was a very intensive install because I went through, you know, the, the the firewall into the engine bay down to the bumper. Um, I had to take off the back panel to run wires for the uh, rear view, the backup camera. So it was it was very extensive. I was gonna record it, but I didn't have um, my my uh, phone mounts, my camera mounts in order to put it in positions that I needed to get in to for you guys to be able to see exactly what I had going on so um I may depending on the time that I have coming up in the next few days just do a a brief run through on the different things that you have to do in order to accomplish that but anyway let's get back to the reason we here now this is Nova Launcher that's why you keep seeing this pop up because this is the launcher that I actually use. You know, you have a lot more freedom with the launchers from the Play Stores, pretty much just like a um, Android phone with these launchers. 
Um, now, to see that image pop up that I just uh, put on there, you're going to want to hit, when you're, you're not going to want to do this unless you have Nova Launcher, but you're going to want to find Index. Index, this is the actual name of that launcher. Um, that comes pre-installed with these radios. So I'm going to hit index And now you see that gray Durango with that in that um, with my image right there um, Like I said, it's, it's a couple of steps that you have to do in order to accomplish this But in the end it's worth it because you can put anything here. It doesn't have to be this Durango it could be just this image or it could be a um, picture of your kid or something. I mean, you could put almost anything there that you want. That's the sweet thing about it as long as it's that size, which I'm going to put down in the description because I don't believe I'm giving you guys the right size. But anyway, now if you go to music or something like that, you'll also see the image of that. Um, You'll see the image there as well. It's, it's small because like I said, I'm working on the uh, actual size and dimensions. I wanted to see if I can get a small, bigger, medium size. I wanted to just, just play around with it and have a um, get a decent idea of how it worked. So far, this is what I came up with. But um, yeah, to show you guys uh, the reverse camera, I'm gonna put the car in reverse. That's the reverse, that's the reverse camera. And then um, I can also set it to where if I put the car in drive, it'll show the, the front camera, but I don't have it set up like that right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go into apps, then I'm gonna go into car monitor. Car monitor, this shows you all of the actual cameras that you have installed. So if you wanna look at your uh, cameras while you're driving down the road, you can go into here, look at rear view, now, if I click on front view, you're going to be able to see the front of the car. And there you have it. Anyway, guys, um, I want to thank I want to thank you guys for uh, watching my videos, leaving likes and subscribing. It's definitely helping me out, motivating me to do these videos. Um, you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment sections. I try to respond as fast as possible. Um... But as you guys know, I do work, and I've been trying to get videos out in the last couple of days to try to help people out. Um, so, once again, like and subscribe. Um, any questions, leave it in the comment section. And until next time, we lit. King shit. And I'm out.